Hello everybody, this is Dr. Cole. It's Sunday afternoon, January 30th. We're now entering week four of Political Science 1013 on the eight-week schedule. Coming up in the next few days, everybody, we have another 50-point discussion from Tuesday through Thursday, February 1st through the 3rd. After that, everybody, we have our midterm exam coming up one week from tomorrow, Monday, February 7th. So let me just say a few words about uh, what we are dealing with. The midterm exam will cover two units, units three and four, on the mass media and the Constitution. Now of the two, the unit on the Constitution is far longer and there's quite a lengthy reading assignment from the textbook on that. So let me just say a few words about what we're looking at in Units 3 and 4. In the Mass Media Unit, Unit 3, basically what we're concerned with is the different kinds of media and how media is shifting from old media to new media. That is, from newspapers and television to online media, websites and social media, of course, internet-based media. And then, the question of how decisions are made about news coverage, and it's there that the issue of allegations of bias in the news media enter in. So that in a nutshell is what we're looking at in uh, Unit 3. Now for Unit 4, you have four chapters of the textbook assigned, whereas you only have one for Unit 3, but you have four chapters assigned for Unit 4 plus some material from the Appendix E textbook, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution itself, and two of the Federalist Papers, numbers 10 and 51, at which I hope you'll look closely. You'll notice there's quite a bit of material in the Unit 4 class notes about Federalist Papers, numbers 10 and 51. I hope you'll take time to read through those. They were written, of course, over 200 years ago. The language is archaic meaning people don't really speak and write that way anymore, exactly. But I hope the material from the class notes on the two Federalist papers will uh, give you some idea of what to look for there. Now, in Unit 4, we talk a good deal about how the Constitution came about, some of the ideas behind it. We try to go through a good bit of the Constitution in detail, especially the original seven articles and the Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments. We try to say quite a bit about the uh, amendments that came after the Civil War, the Civil War amendments, amendments 13, 14, and 15, the 14th Amendment especially. And then in addition to all that, I've added a little bit of material about the 25th Amendment which was added in order to help us deal with what might happen if a president became disabled. Toward the end of that unit, we have some material about civil rights, civil liberties, and federalism. Each of those three topics gets one chapter in your textbook assignment. Now, of all that material, if you are pressed for time, I would suggest look most closely at chapter two from the textbook because that discusses the Constitution as a whole, and the subsequent chapters discuss such issues at, as civil rights, civil liberties, and federalism, which are discussed briefly in our class notes. All right, so that's the material for uh, Units 3 and 4, the material for the midterm exam on the 7th. We have an article for you to read about Fox News. We have an article about Facebook. We have a lengthier article by Professor Daniel Allen of Harvard University, who it, so, who it so happens is running for governor of Massachusetts. And she expressed her thoughts about the Constitution going back a couple of years ago in the Atlantic Monthly. So I hope you will take a good look at that. That's a little bit longer than the two articles I'm assigning you about the media. And so that's the only article about the Constitution that I am assigning you for the exam. Now then, for our discussion Tuesday through Thursday for 50 points, from the 1st through the 3rd, Tuesday the 1st through Thursday the 3rd, we have an article for you to look at and discuss about 
whether the Constitution needs to be amended. The author of that article believes that it's too difficult to amend the Constitution, but that the Constitution does need to be amended. So in the discussion, think about that issue and your thoughts about it. Uh, take a look at what I've said in the assignment that I lay out for the discussion. One thing about constitutional revision and constitutional reform, it is some of a partisan matter because there's some reason to believe that current constitutional arrangements favor the Republicans and disfavor the Democrats. So we have a situation where Democrats may be agitating for constitutional reform and Republicans will push back against that. So that's the question we're raising for our discussion this Tuesday through Thursday, the first through the third for 50 points, and that will be one of four discussions. Uh, we had a problem with our first discussion, so we're adding a fourth one. But the best two will be counted for 50 points each for a 100-point grade. So we, be do, we will be doing that Tuesday through Thursday. And then the exam is coming up one week from tomorrow, Monday the 7th, covering units three and four, uh, including three articles that we've asked you to look at and read just for the exam. There'll be another article that you look at for the discussion Tuesday through Thursday. So that's what we're doing now through the 7th. I would encourage you to begin looking at all that material if you've not done so already, because there's something to look at for the discussion and then a good deal more for the exam. Of course, we're on a sort of a rushed schedule and we've got to move through the material quickly on this eight-week schedule. So we'll have a discussion later this week and an exam, the midterm exam, Monday the 7th. And there are uh, emails that have gone out and announcements up on the course website describing what you'll be responsible for for the discussion and for the midterm exam on the 7th. So before the exam, we'll be talking to you once again a week from now, more than likely on or about, on or about Sunday the 6th, before the exam on the 7th. So in the meantime, I hope you will get cracking on going through all that material. Contact me in case of any questions, issues, or difficulties at david.co at opsu.edu or through the course website. And we will talk to you once again about a week from now at this time. Take it easy.